Hey guys, uh, I was just uh, balancing the new rear wheel and I'm just about to do the, the front wheel and I thought well actually whilst I'm doing this I'll uh, just show you some of the new parts that will be going on the, the new front wheel and have a little chat um, about a particularly poor experience at the, uh, <laughs> at the dealership that uh, I think I've just had. I thought it would be interesting to see what you guys think. Um, yeah, anyway, I've just uh, just balanced this. There's uh, quite a few weights been added there, but it's uh, absolutely fine now. Uh, you've seen me do this before, so I didn't think I'd bother filming that. And then I thought, well, I might as well discuss what's happened. Um, anyway, so we've gone for EBC discs and pads, the double H sintered pads for the front, and. Um, So there's only a pair there, but there's two two sets of those, and uh, the discs we've gone for are the V rotors, uh, mainly because I couldn't get the standard discs from EBC with the uh, the black centre, so I've gone for this V. Uh, style instead. I think they'll look, uh, they should look fine on it. 200, hang on, I'm trying to think how much they cost. 270, I think. Yeah, something like that. Pretty reasonable compared to the original uh, Brembo discs. So I've got a pair of those and, uh, and the pads which will change. Now, this uh, this bleat. Oh, the other thing we obviously needed is the uh, phonic sensor for the front wheel. I didn't really want to be swapping these parts over. Um, I can just swap the wheels at any time then, because we've got a complete front wheel. So yes, the bike went over to the dealership to give him a week for its first annual service and uh, I had it a couple of days and went over to collect it I came out with the invoice said it was all done uh, basically it's £181.69 and you know you're going to get screwed over at the dealership but uh, that was for oil filter uh, oil and uh, copper gasket and there's a couple of notes on here. Uh, completed annual service and uh, a screw found in the rear tyre holding pressure. Brake pads dirty and the exhaust clamp will not uh, tighten, which I already knew about. It's uh, just that stupid Jubilee style clip that uh, now won't fully tighten. So uh, I'm sat there thinking, oh, well, that's good. They've taken the, 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 the nail out and the tyre's fine. Brake pads are dirty, well, you know, whatever. And uh, <clears throat> I just assumed they would have fitted a, a new exhaust clamp. It was, what do they cost? <laughs> Fiverr. So I'm quite happy about that. And uh, I can't remember what made me say it, but uh, I said something along the lines of, oh, I was lucky with the, the, the nail then. And he said, uh, well, we haven't taken it out. I said, what are you talking about? You haven't taken the nail out. They said, no, no, we've left the nail in. And I said, have you also not changed the exhaust clamp? They said, no. <laughs> so the dealership thinks it's okay to service a bike and give it back to you. This is a high-performance <laughs> bike with matching tyres, and they think it's okay to give it back to you with a nail in the tyre. I said, it's bloody ridiculous. I said, get me a pair of pliers. I'm pulling the nail out. If it's gone the right way through, it's not safe to ride home, is it? How stupid. Anyway, they didn't want to give me any pliers, so they wheeled it back into the workshop and pulled the nail out. And, uh, of course, the tyre went uh, straight down. So, of course, the only tyres they carry are the uh, Rosso 2s, and I had the winter tyres on, um, as it is at the moment. So I either had the bike recovered back home, uh, swap to the summer tyres and then in the winter you know get another one of the Michelins or I had a Rosso 2 fitted over there 
So I had to go for the Rosso 2 in the end because I thought that would be the quicker option. <laughs> but does anybody else think that you really shouldn't service a bike and then give it back with a nail in the tyre? <laughs> oh, God. And the exhaust clamp. What is that? A 10-minute task to simply fit a new exhaust clamp. Charge me the 10 minutes. Charge me the cost of the, the clamp and we're all happy. But no, they... Um, yeah, that's how they were going to give it, going to give it back. So yeah, a bit of a rant I think on on there. Not impressed. Thought I'd grab all the parts that I, that uh, were left over from the warranty work, and because uh, I, you know, some of the things I've replaced pattern parts. You know, the clutch levers. Sorry, not pattern parts. Uh, other parts I've fitted new brake and clutch levers, but I wanted the new clutch lever. Uh, if I ever sell the bike, I can put the uh, original parts back on. So seat, uh, pillion seat covers there in a big box. So I can't take that back on the bike. I'm going to have to get that uh, within the car. But there's no clutch lever. And uh, they said, well, it wasn't on the email. And I said, well, yeah, I know that. But I spoke to uh, John when uh, I realised, I'd, although I'd sent a photo of the clutch lever all corroded, uh, I hadn't written it down in the email. And uh, yeah, so there's no clutch lever for me. And uh, the guy that was dealing with it has now left. It's just the bloody shambles. That was sorted out in February. Uh, and it's now the end of May. <laughs> bloody useless. Um, yeah, anyway, so the next thing I've got to do is uh, pop the discs and the uh, phonic rotor onto the, the front wheel and get that balanced. And, uh, and then we're going to get these swapped over. So, yeah, I'll have a brand new spare rear wheel, uh, sorry, rear tyre. And uh, in the autumn, I'll just buy one of the Michelins and get it swapped over when I change these wheels over. But, uh, anyway, yeah, catch you later.